What's up guys, Silver Warrior here today. I wanted to discuss three of what I believe to be the biggest eBay silver scams out there. And these, well not all three of them, but one of them actually comes from a viewer of mine who actually suggested that I make this, well not suggested I make this video, I'm sorry. I said, you know, I'd make a video about it because it's a really interesting thing that needs to be discussed. They were just talking about, you know, eBay um, scams, and they're talking about one of the scams that I'm going to be mentioning in this video, but I decided rather than just mention one, I'll mention three big ones that I think people fall for, and the first one, I'll start out with the one that uh, they gave me that inspired this, and that is the, the clean coins that are on eBay, and these, I mean, you don't have to be an expert to tell when a coin's clean and when a coin's not clean, I mean, I've seen them before, I even have had a couple of Morgans that have been cleaned, and that's the biggest I think uh example of clean coins is in Morgan's. That's when it re those are probably the worst uh, when it comes to like people just trying to clean them. And people will sell these Morgan dollars on eBay for and they'll sell for upwards of 50 or even $60 sometimes, right? When basically they're passing them off as either AU or XF when they're not because they've been cleaned. So I think that especially I'm very, like, against cleaning coins, personally. I think that kind of just ruins a coin. And not even because of the fact that it's like, you know, a lot of people say, well, the coin, it doesn't look as nice over time. Or, I mean, it doesn't look as nice, you know. It, over time, it develops that just nice look to it, that aesthetic, if you will, about an old coin that's just beautiful. And cleaning it ruins it. I think it's kind of like, I mean, it's kind of a weird example, but right? So, like, it basically, I feel like it's if, as if someone who's, like, a professional athlete, right? Like, you have 10 professional athletes competing, and one of them's on steroids, and the other nine aren't. And then trying to compare them. It's just simply not fair. I mean, it's the same thing with this. It's like, one, let's say one out of 10 Morgans is cleaned, right? And then you compare the details of a cleaned Morgan with one that's not cleaned, and it's simply not a fair comparison, because a clean coin is automatically going to look generally nicer than one that's not cleaned. And that's to an unseasoned collector, of course, someone who appreciates, you know, the age of a coin is going to uh, understand a little bit more, you know, wow, well, wait a minute, this actually probably carries more appeal and not clean, but point being, the coin will look blast white and look all crazy new and stuff, and the other nine don't, well, they're all the same condition, it's just the one coin's been cleaned, it's had the junk cleaned off of it, Even maybe it's had the details touched up, and that's just really not a fair comparison to two. And honestly, at the end of the day, a clean coin is not worth as much as an unclean coin. So really, it's just so worthless to do. But these people on eBay, they'll scam you by selling you basically crap. I mean, they're selling you uh, XF details coins as coins that should actually grade in the XF range. And it's just ridiculous because you're going to be getting scammed. If you ever try to sell that coin to anybody who knows anything about coins, then they'll offer you 25 bucks if you're lucky. I mean, really, a clean Morgan is, unless it's a key date, is not something that is worth having in your stack. I mean, $25 is being generous, I think. $60 for a Morgan that's been cleaned. <sighs> yeah, I just can't see. I can't see paying $60 for a Morgan unless it's graded very high, or just a very beautiful uh, Morgan, or even a key date, but well, semi-key, because, I mean, there's Morgans that go for a lot more than 60 in key date. But point being, I generally don't like paying above $18 a piece for Morgans, personally. And that's just me, unless they're, you know, above and beyond what a Morgan normally is. Uh, now, the next big scam I want to talk about, and I don't want to just have all these about junk silver, because I could list probably... 300 scams just on junk silver or just like constitutional silver in general because there's so many of them out there so i'm gonna try to kind of get away from that but the next scam i'm gonna be talking about is the fake silver bars and i'm not talking just fake in terms of like you know yeah you're getting sold a 10 ounce bar that is by some company you never heard of and it's just fake silver i'm talking about no no, no i'm talking the people that will list things on there as um, silver bars when they're things like Tibetan silver, right? And they'll just list it as silver bar or something like that. I'm talking about those types of scams because they're so blatant, so in your face, and such obvious scams. And if you even look at the bar, you'll see, you know, 999 Tibetan silver. 
You know, it's just ridiculous to ever even consider paying anything for something like that because it's you know it's not real silver, and you should know that. And it's just something kind of dumb that people would like to fall for. But yeah, it really you should not be losing money to that because that's such an obvious one, so easy to avoid. When people try to pass off, you know, Tibetan silver as just silver. And just fake silver bars as well are a pretty big issue. You know, there's probably more fake silver bars than real ones sold on eBay, unless you're talking about big companies. But overall, you know, especially to the smaller guys, there's a lot of them fake coin or fake uh, bars. I mean, really getting out there more so than fake coins, I think. I think fake silver bars are the biggest fake thing in the world in terms of silver. Like, out of every silver thing you could possibly buy, I think silver bars are the most faked of them all. And it's just something to really watch out for. Something that you can easily get um, a beginner if it's not like something like Tibetan silver, obviously, but like an actual like fake piece of silver, then it's something that could easily you know get you when you're first getting into silver, and it's not something I want to see happen to any of you guys. So do be advised about all of that stuff out there when you're buying on eBay. And the third scam that I want to talk about is those ridiculous lots of coins and other bars and whatever you will see on ebay oh my god uh, if you fall for something like this then for one i feel bad for you and for two i don't know i mean you honestly need to really reevaluate the way you go about investing in silver i'm talking about little goodie bags like let's say they would assemble it where it'd be like you know um i don't know something like you know, five Kennedy silver Kennedy half dollars, you know, plus one gram silver bar for like 40 bucks or something ridiculous like that. Maybe that's a bit too much. 40 bucks is probably a little bit more than they sell for, like they try to sell it for, but, well, no, 40 bucks sounds about right. Yeah, what am I thinking? Because, oh, what's melt? Man, yeah, actually, yeah, five Kennedy half dollars. It's probably like 30, it's like mid-30s, I think, and then a gram. Yeah, so probably above 40 bucks. So, I don't know, I was thinking, yeah. You know, it'd probably, like, you know, be like five of these gram silver for like 50 bucks or something ridiculous like that. Basically, you're going to be overpaying. And it's just because they're throwing in that little gram of silver, all of a sudden you're paying $15 for a gram of silver. Is that the way it works? I don't, I don't think so. So, anyway, yeah, that's absolutely ridiculous. Not something to ever get involved with those lots you know it's a really good way to make some money on ebay and scam some fools who don't know what they're doing not something i would necessarily do because i just don't really think that um that's the right thing to do i try to nurture the community not um hinder it personally but i mean a lot of people make a lot of money doing that and if i guess people are willing to buy it then it's not really a scam but it is a ripoff and it is something that a lot of investors fall for. I would call it just a scam just because they claim that these are so lucrative when they're really not. And it's just something to really avoid. Uh, the lots get pretty big, too. I'll see, like, ones are $100, and it'll be, like, you know, like, 300 coins included, and 200 and fucking, and fucking you know, 50 of them are um, wheat pennies or something like that. So it's, it's just something to avoid. And with that being said, I do hope you enjoyed the video. And that is it for this one. Peace, love, and much respect.